deep beats and a succulent motion. Like a diamond catching the height when I close my eyes. Spellbinding with my soul, it touched me. It touched me more than once. Where the river builds, the gentle waves of ruchy moments. Yes, it is my river. Yes, it is my river, my Luit, my Luit, so called Brahmaputra, and it flows. And it flows forever and ever. The river Brahmaputra is a symbol of the great Brahmaputra Valley civilization and its magnificent culture. It inspires every fold of its civilization. The history, the literature, the folklore, the mythology, the economy and the social life. The river find mention in everywhere. It is the river that inspired many popular folk and contemporary prose and songs. It is the river that reconstructed and reshaped the socio-cultural life of the people in crucial times. The river felicitated and made it possible to mold a distinct cultural pattern in this valley. The river ensures tribal settlements along its bank. The missing tribe of Upper Assam is a major tribal group that lives on the bank of River Brahmaputra and its tributaries. Tribes like Deoris and Adis also live along the riverside. For them, the river is the depending factor. The river feeds them, provides them with sufficient resources to live in. They understand the river more than anyone. They are quite familiar with different moods. The river gives them shelter, gifted them fertile land to cultivate, in return they pay homage to the great river with gratitude. After independence, bridges constructed over the river Brahmaputra have drastically changed the economic scenario of the region. Prior to these bridges, 
Communication through the river was totally dependent on availability of ferry services. Bridges are reshaping the fate of this region. Northeast is now well connected with the rest of India. Doing business and transporting goods are now easier and cost effective. Bridges over the Great River are transforming the shape of the state's economy. They are boosting economic prosperity and adding value to this region. Sarai Ghat Bridge, the region got its first massive construction in the form of a river bridge in the year 1962. It was constructed at Sarai Ghat at a cost of 10.6 crore. This railcom road bridge project took three years to complete. The length of Sarai Ghat is 4,258 feet. The double line meter gauge, which had been laid down in 1959, was converted to single board gauge track later on. The road on the bridge is 24 feet wide. There is a 6 feet wide pavement on either side. The bridge was constructed by the Northeast Frontier Railway. The foundation and piers of the bridge were built by the Hindustan Construction Company. The first rail engine rolled across it on 23rd of September 1962 and roadway opened for general public in March 1963. As someone rightly said that construct as many bridges as possible to unify the different mines of the valleys and hills. And Assam being commonly known as the land of red rivers and blue hills. Absolutely. And now, since Janet has started the thing, let me tell you, this magnificent example I am going to give you is of the bridge. Why is it the bridge? Because this is the Sarai Ghat Bridge, the first ever rail and road bridge constructed over Brahmaputra. And it was inaugurated by then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in the year 1962. And since then, this bridge has been playing a vital role in connecting India to Assam, rest of India to Assam. So actually, bridging the gap. Yeah, that's the history. And of course, River Brahmaputra. And why Sarai Ghat? Because the famous Battle of Sarai Ghat happened in this area only. So that's why the Battle of Sarai Ghat and somehow the name derived from that. And now the Sarai Ghat Bridge. The new one is inaugurated last year only. It's a new one, but I'm talking about the old one. It was the Sarai Ghat Bridge that helped the Indian Army expediting the forces to the battlefront during the indo shino War in 1962. Arms, heavy ammunition and foods were being transported to the battlefront through this bridge. The bridge also played a vital role in the growth of Assam's economy. Kolia Bhumura Setu. Around 25 years later, Indian railways have turned yet another dream into reality. It was the second bridge over the river that connects the northern bank of the city, Tejpur, with the southern part of the Brahmaputra. Mr. Sharma. Ah, hello. 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 Sorry to keep you wait. It's okay. Uh, finally, it's a pleasure to meet Mr. Kuntal Sharma. So, I already uh, told you, like, you have to help us out with all the uh, details about uh, your beautiful be city, yeah, yeah. Tejpur. Yeah. But as I can see, this is a huge masterpiece. And uh, this is uh, Kolya Bhumra Bridge. Well, right? this is Kolya Bhumra Bridge. Uh, 
as usual it has history attached to it. Uh, it the name Kaliya Bhumra, the, as the name suggests, the name Kaliya Bhumra is associated with an Ahom general. He was an Ahom general. Mm -hmm. His name was Kaliya Bhumra Barfukan. He was the Barfukan of the Ahom ruler Kamleshwar Singha. Okay. So he wanted to lay the foundation of a bridge which could connect North Bank with the South Bank. Mm -hmm. So, but unfortunately he couldn't complete the bridge. And as a result, uh, what happened was uh, it could not be connected. It was like way back during the Ahom Kingdom. Yeah, way back during the in the 1780s maybe. All right. So what happened was that uh, when the Indian government constructed the bridge uh, in the year 1987, they decided to dedicate it to Kaliya Bhumra Barfukan, who at least planned, who had a plan to construct to connect the North Bank with the South Bank. Long back. Long yeah. back, yeah. So this is pure uh, dedication yeah, to yeah, his Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. That that is how it got its name, uh, Kaliya Bhumra Bridge. And as you can see, there is a new bridge which is coming up. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, yeah. It is a foot as well as rail bridge. So it will be functioning within two, a few years. So it would uh, better the communication between the North Bank and the South Bank further. Of course. Yeah. In fact, the rail connections will be there. Yeah. This 3,015 meter long bridge connects Sonitpur on the North Bank with Nogad district on the South Bank. Since its commission, the bridge is continuously contributing towards the development of Northeast India. It was acknowledged as the most outstanding concrete structure in the country at that time. The Hindustan Construction Company had to erect the structure against the high floods. The company started the construction in 1981 and successfully completed in six years. It was a special project for the government of India as it strengthens upon the reaching seven sister states by connecting them to the mainland. This three kilometer long bridge is an awesome concrete road bridge which gives magnificent views of river Brahmaputra and the hills on the shores of the river. Naranarayana Setu, the 2.2 km long Naranarayana Setu connecting the Jogi Ghopa town of Bongaigao district on the north with Pancharatna, a town of Gualpara district on the south. It is the third bridge constructed over Brahmaputra and inaugurated on April 15, 1998. This double deck bridge with a railway track on the lower deck and a road on the upper deck was completed at a cost of rupees 300 crore. The bridge is named after the famous 16th century coach king Naranarayana. Bogibil Bridge, the construction of another railcom road bridge is ongoing on the river at Bogibil. Once completed, it will become the longest railcom road bridge in the country. This 4.94 km long bridge will connect Dhemaji district and Dibrugarh district. This national project will connect nearly 5 million people residing in Upper Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Being located on a strategical point, it will significantly enhance India's ability to transport troops and supplies to the border. Upon completion, it will be the second longest bridge over the Brahmaputra after Dhola Sadia Bridge. Dhola Sadia Setu, 
over the Lohit River, one of the major tributaries of the Brahmaputra, is the longest bridge in the country. This 9.15 km long bridge is named after the legendary singer of the state, Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. It is connecting the northeastern states of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. The project cost around 10 billion rupees and took over five years to complete. The new bridge will change the transportation scenario of the region and will boost communication across eastern Arunachal Pradesh. The bridge is also a great strategic boost to India's defense capabilities in the northeast. Movements of troops and heavy equipments in the forward areas bordering China is now easier and faster. It will cut the travel time from 10 hours to 3 hours to the bordering districts. The Brahmaputra Valley is enriched with bountiful water resources that makes it a potential powerhouse of the country. Studies conducted in different times have estimated more than 84,000 megawatt hydroelectric power potentialities yearly from different rivers in the valley. It has immense possibilities of hydroelectric power generation. This will benefit the region through improving infrastructure and improving the quality of life. The Subansiri Lower Dam on the Subansiri River, located upstream of Gerukamukh on the border of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, is a much awaited project from hydroelectric power generation perspective. This project is expected to supply 20,000 megawatt of power when completed. These will surplus the present demand for power of 1,400 megawatt. The project is undertaken by the National Hydroelectric Power Corporation Limited. Once completed, this gravity dam will be the largest hydroelectric project in India. Suvanshiri was initially designed as a hydropower and storage dam with a vision to reduce the impact of floods. However, it was later transformed into just a hydroelectric project. Instead of constructing big dams in this seismically unstable region, people are looking for alternatives in the form of small hydropower plants. The hilly areas of the state have good hydro potential. Through small hydro development, streams can be harnessed for decentralized power generation. The district of Karbiang Long has the largest small hydro potential. About 83 megawatt hydropowers from small projects so far have been identified. The North Kachar Hills have the potentiality of about 30 megawatt. The government is coming up with new projects on the river. There is a planning to construct expressway along both banks on the Brahmaputra. Hundreds of villagers inundated everywhere by the floodwaters of the river. Perennial floods displaced thousands of people in the valley. This road come embankment will limit the damage from annual floods. This will also improve the water carrying capacity of the river. Once completed, it will also make the river navigable for bigger cargo ships. The proposed project will also improve the connectivity in the valley. The proposed 1300 km long highway will be a solution.
the government is also planning to construct several bridges on the river. The river gifted many things, throws challenges at the people of this valley, but they didn't give up. They fought and they are still fighting and living up along the great river. This is the spirit of the people that created the great Brahmaputra Valley civilization. A civilization that is continuously transforming itself with great determination and grit.